Okay, self-actualization. Um, I haven't seen. I don't. I don't know if it's, it's. It is enlightenment. If what I experienced in Korea was enlightenment, then the experience of self-actualization is very close. Uh, and when you get out into the other realms of magnificence, uh, out into the pristine operating system, uh, it's it's pretty cool out there. Uh, I had a client come to me years ago. He still works with me. Uh, does classes from time to time. Keeps threatening to do them on phone, but hasn't. And his roommate is Simon, who invited me to Korea. And when he came to my seminar, excuse me, I got a bit of a cold and uh, my nose is itchy. And I would pick it, but I'm on film, so. Uh, but he came to his first seminar because Simon, who invited me to Korea, had talked to him. They were roommates in the military, and he said, he said, what Simon talks about, the experiences he has here, he said, are experiences that I have had, but I can't find again. And I said, okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what created the experience, because there are certain, if you read Maslow, which I haven't, I mean, I, I've looked at it, but I haven't really read it thoroughly, because I find them completely boring. But, um, not completely, not completely, but, but, uh, this gentleman, Andy, talked about an experience that he had had, an altered state of being. And when he got there, it was after his fiancée. It was his childhood sweetheart. Uh, she was diagnosed with cancer. They went through a horrific time together, which is not pleasant for either of them. And uh, she eventually died. And he said, after she died, he went, he said, I went into a different state of being. And I said, and it lasted for about a year and a half. And he said, almost exactly. How do you know that? And it's because those are the studies. Uh, if you watch a movie called Fearless, uh, the one with Jeff Bridges where he survives a plane crash, the timeline is about an hour, and, uh, is about a year and a half. And he, he said, yeah, it was right about a year and a half. And he said, it was such a neat space to be in. He said, I couldn't talk to a lot of people about it. Uh, because it sounded like I was happy that she was dead, which I wasn't. He said, I was completely devastated. And I said, no, no, I know. I know. You go out into this other state, and it is so enlivening. He said, yes, that's it exactly. And so I said, okay, then you're going to have to tell me whether or not, at the end of the seminar, we have co-created that experience for you, right? I, I know where you've been. I've read it. I go there regularly because it's, it's what I do for a living. I said, but... I would like to know whether or not it compares with what you have experienced and what I've read theoretically, research-wise. So, at the end of the seminar, we did Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and then Tuesday. And uh, on Tuesday, he came up and he said, it's working. He said, it's, it's, it. he said, it's real close to the experience. And, and over the years that we've worked together, he's been in some traumatic, I mean, really traumatic uh, positions in life in battle line where men are getting killed around him and uh, came at one point after people that he worked with were killed overnight and I said you know I don't I don't know whether this will work from here and he said I don't either he said but I sure want you to try and so we started uh, that class and I said what do you want which is again my seemingly relevant koan and he said Never mind, don't even start with me. He said, I'm waiting for what happens at the end of the class. He said, let's just have fun all the way through. And so that's what we did, right, which we do in my classes. Uh, the Zen meditation thing was intense. Uh, there wasn't much laughter. There didn't seem to be much fun, although people have their different definitions of fun. Uh, but you know, over the years, we have still worked together. And I'm working for an experience with y'all. That's all I live for, is the experience of an alternate way of living, uh, of having fun. So, uh, thanks for listening, uh, www.micpperformance. If you want me in your neighborhood, you can get me there. Uh, which you're going to have to get some people together and get a class together for me. My book is Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing. Uh, it is basically for alternative physicians who have curiosity with their patients. Have fun. Have a great weekend. It's Friday night here. Thanks.